without panic to the reality of our times, the fact that atom bombs may someday be dropped on our cities. And let us prepare for survival, understanding the weapon that threatens us. that the bombs would be dropping any minute and I figured that was about at least six minutes ago. So the way I see it, put this on. The way I see it, if I can get a signal, I'll find out what's going on. But if there's no signal, it could mean nobody's alive up there. Okay. You don't have to worry, Tom. We're gonna be just fine. The wall's down here, 15 feet thick, and we're over a mile and a half underground. So we just need to keep our cool and everything is going to be just fine. The important thing is we made it. We're alive, Tom. And yeah. Try to keep a positive yeah. attitude, okay? We're going right. to be fine. Right. Right. Okay. I figure we have enough supplies and everything that a week from now we go up, we check the radiation levels, and, and it'll be okay. A week? Yeah. Not with nuclear winter. There's no way a week. No. Nuclear winter? Yeah, when those bombs start falling and the sky is full of fallout and dust and blocks out the sun and it's going to be winter time for years until the sky clears. No, no, we're going to be down here for a long time. We have enough supplies down here for 50 men, so you if it's just the two of us, we'll be good for, for years. I mean, we've got years? enough food and water and Diet Coke and air. We're set. Tom, you... You look like you're freaking out. Yeah. Are you freaked out? Yeah, I'm freaked out. Well, you shouldn't be. There's a camera right up there. You're on freak out. <laughs> See, there's that camera up there. Check it out. That potted plant is actually a camera. And you are on my weekly podcast, Freak Out. <laughs> you're freaked out, right? I got you good. Yeah, good, good. <laughs> Come on, let's go. All right, we'll go. Uh, but I gotta say, I think you have to yeah. admit, I really uh, very funny. Let's just go. made up the whole bunker and everything. Let's I got go. you. All right, let's we can go. go now. Oh my God! What now? You shut the hatch? Yeah. We're Why right. did you, you shut me, the hatch? You told me to shut the hatch. There's a fail-safe mechanism. This is an actual bunker. We can't get out. It doesn't open from the inside. Tell me something. Seriously, are you freaked out? Yeah, yeah, I'm freaked out. All right, you're on freak out. I got you again. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. Okay, that was good. I did it again. I've got two podcasts right there. So okay. thanks, Tom. So, um, great. Come on. Let's all go. right, I've got a key. I'm freaked out. And we'll uh, just get out of here. Let's go. Oh my God. The key's upstairs. Let's no, it's, open, it, it, it's, it's like when you leave your keys in a car and there's no way out except when we're on the inside. Tom, I'm not joking. This, uh, this isn't part of the prank. We can't get out? We can't get out. We're, we're stuck, stuck down here. But we have enough food and water and supplies to last us for at least seven or eight years, I think. Um, are you are you freaked out? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm freaked out. I freaked myself out. Hey, look, this camera's on, right? Yeah. It's putting out your podcast, right? Well, that means you've got your fans. They're watching us. Yeah. Right? 
that they can help us get out of here. We just got to ask your fans, somebody to come rescue us. What do you think? Come on, is that, isn't that going to work? Yeah. I mean, think of how many people must be out there watching us. Hey, look, um, we're trapped underground here. This is not like fake, and we, we need your help to get out of here. Just tell them, tell them how, to, how, to get out, how to get here and get us out of here. What, what do they need to do? All right, look, look, look. The game's over. Freak out's over. We need your help to get us out of here. Please, we're trapped. And we're not really far. We're like three miles past the edge of town. You just go out, past that coffee shop, and... Um, what was the way we came? Um, Would you left? stop? Would you stop going on about that already? Would you shut Come up? On. Are you freaked out? Is that it? You're freaked yes, out? Yeah, of course. Yeah? Are you? Well, you don't have to be. You're on a freak out. You're nuts. You want to get out of here? Let's go. Yes. I want to get out of here. You can't. Well, folks, we've been down here for eight days. And this bunker does indeed have everything. Well, almost everything. There's no entertainment. I mean, what I wouldn't give for a Scrabble game or a checkers or something, even a book, one book, but there's nothing here. There's nothing down here. And that's my fault. Okay, I accept that. But there's no need for entertainment. You know why? Why? Because we can leave whenever we want. You're on freak out! Are you freaked out? No. You sure? Not even a little? Not even a little freaked out? No, I'm just fine. You should be. You know why? Why? Because we're a mile and a half underground and we're never getting out. Are you freaking out? Freak out. It's not as easy as it looks.
I have good news. Yeah. You remember back when I told you that uh, I don't have the key to get out? Uh-huh. That was all part of the prank. This is the most elaborate freakout anyone has ever attempted in the history of freakouts. Mm -hmm. I've got the key. Do you? You're free to leave whenever you want. I wouldn't do that if I were you. What? I just found out there really has been a nuclear holocaust. For real. You really expect me to believe you? It's your choice. But upstairs, it's nuclear winter. I'll take my chances. Good luck. And key doesn't fit. Are you freaked out? No. Not even a little? No. You look a little freaked out. Are you, are you sure you're not freaked out? Well, you should be. You're on freak out. Yes, the knowledge is ours. And preparation can mean survival for you. So act now. Someday your life may depend on it. Thank you.